What are you doing in there? I'm fed up. They cancel Christmas because of COVID and it makes me really sad. They can't cancel Christmas. Yes, they can. No, they can't because Christmas has already happened. What do you mean? Christmas happened over 2,000 years ago when Jesus was born. How could you cancel that? I guess you're right, but it won't be the same. You're right. It won't be the same. It won't be as much fun as Christmas normally is. Well, you know the first Christmas wasn't much fun either. What do you mean? Well, we may have COVID restrictions and stuff, but they had... They, don't you think they had problems too? Like what? Have a listen to these people back from the Bible times. Nothing good ever happens anymore. 400 years since the last prophet spoke to us. Hundreds of years waiting for the Messiah God promised us. But things only get worse and worse. Romans sold to their own chat here. They take our money and taxes. And make our lives a misery. Is it possible that God has forgotten us? Is it possible that God has forgotten his promise? Is it possible that God has left us in this mess? We have to hang on to hope. We have to hang on to God. We have to hang on to his promise to us. Hope in the Lord is all we've got. 2,000 years ago in Judea, things looked very bad for God's people. But still, they put their hope and their trust in the promises of God. God had spoken through the prophets hundreds of years before, promising that one day Messiah would come. But first, there would be one last prophet who would prepare the way for this special person. And this is his story, because over 2,000 years ago, there wasn't just one special baby born, but two. Zechariah was a priest. He and his wife Elizabeth loved God with all their hearts, but they didn't have any children, and now they are old. I am old. So am I. One day, it was Zachariah's turn to go to the temple and burn incense before God. Five, two, two. While all the worshippers were praying outside, Zechariah went into the holy place. Suddenly, an angel appeared and Zechariah wasn't afraid. Don't be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a baby, and you will call him John. He is going to prepare people's hearts for the Messiah. But I'm old, and my wife is past it. I'm Gabriel. I stand in the presence of the Lord, and I've been sent to tell you the good news. But now you won't be able to speak because you didn't believe. When Zechariah finally came out from the holy place, the people were wondering what had happened to him. What took you so long? What's wrong with you? Uh, why won't you speak to us? I think he's seen a vision. When his service at the temple was over, he returned to Elizabeth in Judea and she did become pregnant. She knew that the one person who had done this out was Elizabeth, so she went for a visit. What a special time they spent together. But finally, it was time for the birth. How happy everyone was for Zachariah and Elizabeth and their new baby. When the baby was eight days old, it was time to name him. I suppose his name is going to be, going to be Zachariah. No, his name is John. When now body was Family culture. Let's see what Zachariah thinks. Suddenly he could speak again and began to praise God. Meanwhile, everyone wondered about this special baby and knew that God was doing something amazing. God is giving us a Christmas that is different, but it will still be special. I think you can get out of the bin now.
Because we can put our hope in the Lord, especially when things are difficult. Get your thoughts from all the horrid things. And remember that Jesus came in difficult times long ago. And he's here with us in all that we are facing today. That's why our first theme of the Advent is hope. So remember that candles are for dark times. So as we light this candle of hope, we put our hope in the Lord and remember that he gives us light. <laughs> 